this is JT Warson card. Today I'm gonna show you how to install STI V bars. So you need a 12 millimeter. You can use an impact or a ratcheting wrench or a crescent wrench. You're gonna loosen these two, that nut, and that bolt. So there's gonna be three black nuts and one silver nut. Like I said, you just use a 12 millimeter. Pause the video and remove this. So once you remove the two nuts here, one black nut there, and the bolt, you just simply remove it like that. Then you're gonna insert a new bar. I started from the firewall side then ended up at the strut tower. What your order should come with, one new bolt, no two new bolts, and six new hex. Now, 16 hex nuts. So you're gonna install it like this. Thread this end first. Then you're gonna get your nuts. Just to hold everything in place, of course. Then you're gonna hand tighten everything down. And these are all 12 millimeters and careful not to flex this joint too much. Just do everything slowly. Then you're gonna hand tighten everything down. The torque spec is like 12 or 15 foot pounds. So just literally hand tight. Snug and extra 1 16th of a turn like that. You apply too much torque, you will strip these out. So do not do that. See that snug? Extra 1 16th. Snug, extra 116. And that's how you install it on the right side. And you're gonna repeat the same thing on the left side. And for extra demonstration, I'm gonna show you it's not that tight. See, this is the left side. I have not loosened this yet, look. See how much it turns? You literally do not need that much force to tighten these down, but you can use a torque wrench if you want. And on the left side, which is the driver's side. You're gonna do the same thing. Loosen your two 12 millimeter nuts, another one there, and then one 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter bolt. You're gonna lift it up from, from the strut tire side, and then you're gonna go straight out like that. Very simple. And to demonstrate, these are flexible. So don't apply too much force to the joint, see? Watch. These are flexible, so be very careful when installing it and moving it around. And to put this back in, I'm gonna show you. You can go from firewall side, put it on top of that stud, to move over to the strut tower, and boom. Just like that. And as you slowly tighten everything, just support this so that joint is straight. Once you get everything in finger tight, you're gonna do the same thing. Use a 12 millimeter and just hand tighten everything. Snug, extra 1 16th, same thing over here. These are all 12 millimeters. Snug, extra 1 16th, same thing to this nut. Sn See, not snug yet. Snug, extra 1 16th, same thing over here. 1 16th, 1 8th, you get the gist. It's not super accurate because I'm not using a torque wrench, but you get the gist. Right. Snug. Oh shit. Snug. Extra 1 16th. And once you finish installing it, everything, it's going to look like this. So this is the passenger side, which is the left side for us. And for the right side, which is the driver's side, it'll look like that. And thank you very much for watching my video.